Uh, happy Friday. Friday, right? Yes, it is. Cool. Clicking. Clicking. Waiting. Clicking, waiting. Looking. Happy Friday. Well, let's be fresh. Welcome. Welcome. How's everybody today? Did we click? All right. Did you click live? <laughs> uh, I don't see the word live. It should be on, up on the phone. Not how you. You know, I clicked. It's on. It's on the phone. Okay. I'm looking for you here. Oh. In the discussion. I clicked discussion six times now. <laughs> now here's the seven. Darn Facebook. There's nothing coming on. Facebook change stuff on us again. Do I gotta click on this? Watch. Shit. Uh. I don't think so. Nope. I know. Let's go back. All right, free virtual. Oh, wait, wait, what's happening here? Uh-uh. Don't go back. Facebook change settings again. Mimosas and masterpieces. Go to events. Events, kapow. Down to free snowman. Snowman, uh -huh. right there. And then discussion. And then discussion. No. I don't see no picture here. Um, What's happening? What did Facebook do to I us? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. There's, there's a bunch of people on. So yeah, why are, you why are we not on? Discussion? Hi guys. Watch. Discussion. Alright. Okay, scroll down. That's it. Bye back. Is this the right page? Uh it should be. Sorry guys, technical difficulties here. Again. Okay. It is. There we are. Ta-da. But what, this is on your front page now. Oh, no. Oh, it's not in the event. Snickerdoodles. What? No, that is the event. Is it in the event? I don't think it is. But live comes on live. Okay. Well, we're sorry. And we've got 24 people waiting for us. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. I must so have let's clicked. just get there. Let's get there. I must have clicked uh, live and not in the discussion. There we are. They the can discussion. see and hear us, but we couldn't see them. <laughs> Sorry. It's nice to be back, and it's nice to see you guys. Uh, Novita at the top of the list here. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, Novita was with us last night. Thank awesome. you so much for joining yeah, us last night. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. It was awesome last night. Yep, see Nancy's here. Uh, uh. Jen Kaylee says, can barely hear you guys. Give us an update on that. See if you can hear us now that we're uh, hooked up here. Shouldn't matter. They should have been able to hear us the whole time. Oh, wait. We're just checking connections, loves. Hold on. Hang tight for me. Right. It says we're live. Yep. Oh, sorry. Fingers. That Everything should be connected, honey. Check on your side. Yeah. Oh, she says my five-year-old is very excited, so that means that she can hear us. Yay! Sarah Ryan is in the house. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Samantha Walsh Newman is back with us. Hi, Samantha. Regina Szymanski is with us from New York. Hi, Regina. Just write that down. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since I did this, but I guess not. It's been a while. I don't know. I feel like yeah. Kimberly Ann Pinnell says I can see and hear you. Patricia and Patricia Burns says I can see and hear you. Yay! Good deal. All right, we've got Evelyn Nazario. Hello from Brooklyn. Uh, Anne Marie and Ava. Hi, guys. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Ava. Welcome. Yes. Welcome, welcome. We'll give everybody a minute. You guys are ahead of us at this point, but uh, <laughs> we'll give everybody a minute to check in, check on. Again, if you're new with us, let us know where you're painting from. We got somebody from the West Coast, Olivia Balcazar. Hi, from Olivia. sunny San Diego, California. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us early in your time at, uh, right? on the West Coast. <laughs> yes. Rascal, lay down and relax. Uh, we got Needy back from Skillman, New Jersey. Hi, Needy. Welcome. <laughs> Rascal, 
lay down and relax now. Hmm. Yeah, for those of you that didn't meet us last night, I'm sorry you didn't be, wasn't able to join us. We'll do it again. Oh, okay, see, Jen Cayley is from Ontario, Canada. Yay. That's who we were missing last night, people from Canada. <laughs> Yes, we're going to do another Zoom meet and greet. That was so much fun. We had a bunch of people that weren't able to join live with us. So we'll do it again, uh, maybe not in August, but probably September. I've really booked August for us. <laughs> yeah, you really booked August? I did. I booked August for us. And Anya just joined us right now. <laughs> There's Anya. Anya knew where to go, but I must have messed up where I posted. I think that's what happened. Because okay. I don't think you're in the event. I think you're live on the page, right? Somebody confirm that for me. I must well, have been trigger happy, post happy. <laughs> we've got Inbar back from Hi, Seattle. Bar. I'm so glad you're painting with us again today. Needy says, I really like your apron. Thank you. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing, uh, we did now, a. Hold up, hold up. We did a giveaway. You're talking. Yeah. I'm talking to them, uh -huh. but I don't see you. You don't see me? Yeah. Still? Yeah, there's a problem here. Hold on a second. <laughs> You're supposed to be right in front of me like you're doing on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, where are you? I don't know. <laughs> it's snowing in July. Maybe not, but we are painting a snowman in July. That's what I wrote. There you are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now I see you. Oh, now, hold on. Let me just click again so I can correspond with my... <laughs> audience that's wait you're freezing why are you freezing on my facebook uh, yuck i know i'm on under your post not event sorry man All right jessica muhammad just joined us Thank but you're you. not moving why i'm not moving on your page apparently yeah, what's wrong with my Facebook or my computer? Hold on. You got to figure this I out. I don't know. Maybe you want to click out I'm of it. I'm getting all of theirs. Well, maybe click out of it completely and then go back in. Right. Cinder and just I'll joined chat us. for a minute. Hi, Cinder. So sorry I missed last night. Oh, Not sure okay. I'll make the whole night as I had a couple of late nights, but I'll stick around for a few. It's okay. This one might be, this one's probably going to be a good two-hour one, so. Yeah, let me go out and come back in because you're not, you're frozen. We're letting Mark go out and come back in to Facebook. Yes, going to have to. So, in the meantime, I'll kind of chat about what we did last night a little bit. So, we, we did, we finally got to meet some of you. We've got to see your favorite paintings that you've done, whether it was with us or uh, everybody else. We got some tours of people's homes, motor homes, trailers. Oh, yeah, uh, that was cool. <laughs> we got to see someone's log cabin, which is beautiful. Um, so that's so much fun, and that's part of why we, you know, we like doing the things that we do and meeting you, and you're part of, like, a, a community, and we love that about this. Um, so we talked about Kids Camp. If you haven't, if you're new to us and haven't heard about it yet, message us later or let us know i will show you the paintings that we're going to do through kid camp it is 65 dollars for the summer we'll do nine paintings i have posted every day of when we're going to paint uh, they will start at six nope 5 p.m eastern standard time 5 p.m and we'll do nine paintings for the kids it's 65 dollars for your entire household just we'll do zoom we'll put you in a private group and we'll uh link the hopefully link the zoom right to live on facebook um, I'm trying to take technical courses to figure all of these things out, so bear with us while we get through all those things. We are normally an in-person event people, so we're out on the road and doing these things, so we've been just kind of learning quickly, as quick, quick as we can, the past few months. Okay. <laughs> all right, so if you don't know us, I'm Jennifer. Mark is behind the computer, reading your comments, hopefully finding us live now. Nope. What the heck? I'll just have to do it from here. I cannot see you here. So weird. Okay. You're frozen. All right. Well, see, technical. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, Facebook seemed to update right before we went on. And, and that's now, a problem now. And now the whole entire layout is different for us, so I don't know what happened there. But anywho, so let's get started with everything that we're painting with tonight. All of our supplies. So we're painting, of course, our snowman in July. I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. I have it laid out horizontally or landscape. Um, I'm using three brushes tonight. We're going to use that um, flat brush, that three quarter inch flat brush. 
we're going to use that round brush, about a, a number eight if you have numbers on your brush. And then we'll use a smaller, finer brush if you have a tiny one for our details. And there'll be our um, outlines and our kind of fine little designs in there. I have a cup of water for rinsing my brushes, paper towels to dry, and I have two plates today. I'm gonna probably need one for mixing. And then our paints today are all of our primaries, red, yellow, blue, black and white, and also brown. So red, yellow, blue, black, white, brown. Okay, everybody have their stuff ready. We're gonna paint everything on canvas. I'm not sketching anything tonight. We're just gonna go at it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with our larger flat brush, three quarter inch flat brush. Rinse and dry really good. We're gonna work from the top down and I'm gonna start with a stripe of blue right across the top. So I have kind of a lighter blue. If you have a real dark blue and you wanna lighten that up a little, you can. Um, so again, this is kind of what my blue looks like. It's a little bit lighter. So blue right across the top, at least a brush width all the way across. And I'm using horizontal brush strokes. I'm grabbing my edges and I'm grabbing the top of my canvas as I go. I don't know what I did to Facebook, honey. Now we have Manorama yes. watching with her daughter. Hi, Manorama. Welcome. That's a new name. Really? I think so. Yoli is back from Florida. Hi, Yoli. Welcome. Happy Friday, guys. Now, I can see you when I'm on the front of the page. And that's exactly why, because I'm live on the page, not in the event. Right. I can see you, but so then, I I, then I have trouble seeing my my um, my um audience uh, comments. comments. So you can't click <coughs> open that? No. <coughs> Excuse me. The comments are there, okay. but I have a small box for it. So I'll just look at you like this. Okay. And then when I want to get deep into the comments, I'll just <laughs> go right. to the event. <laughs> I'm going to have you um, take this down at, at least a brush width, so maybe an inch, a little bit wider than that brush width, and then you're going to rinse and dry that brush. And that's all you did was go across brush width? Just a nice big stripe horizontally right across Blue the top. Blue stripe. Yep. Closer to me. I undid everything yesterday for our meet and greet, switch venues, sides of the room, and then I'm putting it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I have to get readjusted here. So again, you're rinsing and drying after that blue stripe. Relax, relax. Rascal is being a, a nuisance right now. Relax. Well, he's traumatized. Oh my goodness. You keep painting and painting and painting. <laughs> and talking to people. And oh, I'm so sorry. He just gets upset over that. <laughs> after that blue stripe, rinsing and drying. And then I want you to grab white on that brush. So just grabbing white. And I'm coming across, right underneath the blue. I'm going to come with this, that stripe of white. So I'm right underneath that blue first with a stripe of white. Horizontal line all the way across with the white. We're going to blend up and then down. So horizontal, right to left brush strokes, up into the blue, and then we're bringing it down. So right to left, I'm bringing it up into the blue, and then taking this down. So we'll take it down another maybe two inches. So right to left over our white, bring it up into our blue, and then taking it down about two inches. Right to left with that white up into our blue and blending down. So you're just going to keep going across with that white up into the blue and then down. If it starts to seem like you don't have enough paint, just grab a little bit more white, put it across, 
up into our blue and right to left horizontally staying with those horizontal brush strokes all the way down so we've got you should have now about four inches of blue and white or blue to light blue on your canvas now i got a um question from anya sure anya is it possible to change the camp time around six as i have something else from five to six i i can't well even if you had something from five to six if we started at four we won't be done at at five so i would um well, everything's gonna get recorded and we'll post it right into that, um, we'll post it right into the group for you. Mm -hmm. So I've already kind of announced to everybody, um, the kind of the voices on the meet and greet yesterday told us five o'clock was best for everybody else. Mm -hmm. So we yep, posted it. So that's what we decided last night. We're gonna stick with five, but we are saving the videos, the Zooms, and we're gonna put them right into the private group of our campers. And that video will be up for you until the next painting. Okay. So after we have about four inches of that blue to light blue, I want you to rinse and dry. <laughs> if I'm going too fast, guys, just slow me down. Trying to get there so I can <laughs> keep up with it. It's just this computer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. Maybe we need to shut it down. And yeah, you can do it, that too. It's give okay. it a rest or something. I don't know. We could just turn it and off completely and ruin. turn it back on. I don't know. Not sure what happened. All right. So rinsing and drying after you have that light blue. I'm still going to go back into white. So I still want to take white. And we're going to do the same thing right underneath that light blue come under with the white and same thing i want you to blend just blend up this time up into the blue just to make it a little bit lighter we just want it to get lighter as it comes down because we're going to add some other colors in there on this same brush from our white I'm not rinsing and drying I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of yellow just a little bit of yellow that it's on the tip of my bristles and in our sky in one or two places or wherever you like we're just gonna use that horizontal brush stroke and put some yellow and then we're gonna blend so yes you may get a little bit of green in there and that's okay so I'll grab a little bit more of that yellow We may cover some of this up with our trees, but that's okay. And then rinse and dry that color. Maybe sign out of Facebook completely and then go back into it. Um, I'm afraid to do that. <laughs> okay. Because I don't know how to sign you back into your stuff. Uh, your well, you can do it from your page. No, I can't. I haven't been on my page. I don't, I don't know how to sign it from okay. my page. I just click on my computer Alrighty. and my page is on. I don't know how to do it. Goodness. <clears throat> I mean, I would have to sit down and remember what's my password and all of that well, stuff. I don't got time for I that. I know. Same on my phone. I just click on Facebook my page comes up. So after that yellow, we're rinsing and drying again. And then I'm gonna have you take just a tiny bit, tinier than the yellow, tiny, tiny bit of red on the edge of those bristles. And we're gonna put those in a couple of areas in our sky. Well, the red goes a long way. So we're gonna kind of blend that in really well in our sky. <laughs> okay. Um, What's the matter? Okay, no, I got some, okay, no, we're good. Cause I'm getting some new, I'm getting some new comments, comments but I don't see, no, I don't see you. I can't see you. I just see the comments, so okay. I'm good. All right. So, um, 
Yeah, because Arnie just said, is it just me or do I see a dream catcher painting? You see a dream catcher painting. <laughs> okay. And then, um, then we've got Nikisha Graham Francis from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Hi, Nikisha. Say you guys are one of the po one of the positive things that came out of this year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we appreciate that because I'll tell you, you know, I, I will say that, um, yes, we this has been a silver lining for us amongst all of the chaos and the craziness and the unknown and who knows what's coming ahead. Um, it was time for me to, I, I was going to say slow down, but it seems like I just kind of went full circle there because we're, we're busy again, but <laughs> it was kind of a, a way for me to rebrand or figure out a way to continue doing what I love to do and mm -hmm. getting out there some way mm -hmm. to help people. But this has been, um, it's been a silver lining. We, I enjoy doing this. I love everybody that we've met and had conversations with. And, um, yeah, it was a nice meet and greet yesterday. I mean, I've spent several hours, uh, since doing this on days, maybe in total talking with several of you and building friendships aside from just going live, you know, like this. So um, that's an, an amazing thing that's come out of it. We always want to, you know, bring you a positive experience. So we're always looking for that feedback. Um, we always say it is not just about putting paint on canvas. Mm -hmm. It's about you having a good time. It's about having some downtime for yourself, creating a memory, creating um, just a positive feeling. So that's what we're here for. We hope we can make you laugh. Our chuckle we hope we can <laughs> provide a little bit of an outlet within all of this unknown that's going on we don't know what's coming in September and even when it's all over and it's back to normal <laughs> whatever she said that she's been busy she just got home she's gonna do this painting tomorrow good she just said let's love you guys love you too. and uh N Nandita says um what are the dates and the days of the camp Okay, dates and days of the camp. Well, okay, so after you get your red on there, we're going to rinse and dry. Yes, let's, I'm sorry. We That's okay. Be... I'll go back to the dates of the camp in a few minutes. Let's let you start Finishing getting the rest painting. of what's on your canvas. Yeah. So for the rest of the canvas, after you have that rinse and dried brush, I just wanted to get those colors up there before we did any more. So for the rest of it, I want you to take a little corner of your blue and a quarter of your white, and we are gonna continue down the entire rest of the canvas. So horizontal brush strokes all the way down. So we're just light blue and the lighter, we almost want it white, but you want a touch of blue. So I wanna even make this a little bit lighter. So horizontal brush strokes all the way down. So if you need to just keep grabbing more white to lighten that up, keep grabbing more white. Okay, so, mm -hmm. um, so dates of the camp, we can go over that now. Um, dates of the camp is da, 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 Wednesday, July 15th. Wednesday, July 15th right. is the very first one. And that is when pigs fly. And all of these dates, by the way, are all in that Facebook event. Right, you said the start time would be 5 p.m.? The start time is 5 p.m because we, it's kind of, um, so I still work a full-time job on top of this. Right. Even though this is becoming full-time. <laughs> full-time with the time investment, let's put it that way. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, I do still work a full-time job, so I, I have to kind of um, be available or on call until five, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, but several people have mentioned that five o'clock was a better time for them, so we went with it. So let's see if I can give you well, I'm going to give them some pictures. Yeah, I'll show you. Show what. them what we're going to be doing. Okay, so July fifteenth is the one pigs fly. Right, that's at five p.m. Five p.m. Yep, they're all going to be at five p.m. That's the first one. First one. <laughs> Next one, you find the date for me. Seven twenty-one. That's the twenty-first. And that is which one? Henry the Hedgehog. Ah, uh, I love this one. I can't wait to do this one. What are you doing? Stop hurting yourself. I gotta take these socks off. <laughs> They're wet. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, and they were itching. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Mark here with itchy feet. Oh, goodness. Of no censorship apparently here. Okay, Henry Hedgehog. This is adorable and I can't wait to do it. So 
Jason. Oh, yeah, everybody wants that one. Henry Hedgehog. Right. Then we've got the 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 well the most famous one so far is Alpaca Llama, or Pacalaca. <laughs> Pacalaca. Alpaca Laca. Oh my god. That's going to be on the 29th. All right. So that is this one. So I revealed last night our surprise yeah. for the kids for Alpaca Laca. <laughs> so on our Zoom call with the kids, we are going to oh, have that's right. That's right. Live alpacas or llamas. I don't remember now. Oh, We're, multiple? Yeah. They're going to join us on Zoom, but live. While we're painting them. Yeah, so we'll get to see live. Oh, my God. A live that's, feed of. <laughs> that really? Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> yes. Are they going to be able to concentrate? Uh, I don't, we'll, we'll see. I'll try and uh, determine a, a good time to do it so that we have the kids painting and then. And they can see the pack you know, And they can see the pack Okay. They'll yeah, only see, be in for a couple name. of minutes. They're llamas, right? They're, well, this was our debate. We didn't know whether They're it was. alpacas. I can't remember if it's alpacas or llamas now. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Again, we're just bringing this white and light blue all the way down to the bottom. That's going to be a treat for kids camp, really. I'm so excited to do that for them. Um, you know, I like to create something unique and different and memorable. So that's what they, I if found. Only, if only they could talk. I know. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait for that. Uh, what's your next one? I forget. Oh, the next one the for dates. the um, yeah, the next ahead. one for the um, kids camp. We're oh, it's cool koala. cool koala. Cool oh, koala is on the third of August. Koala's really cute. So here's cool koala. Right, that's that's going to be on the uh, on the third of August. Dun, dun, dun. Right, then the next one for the kids camp will be the pug in a mug. Pug in a mug. Everybody likes a sad little pug. I know, he's sad. Why do you have to make them sad? With that, they do. They look sad. Everybody likes sad pugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we've got um, after a pug in a mug, is the 18th. That's hanging out tree frog. Oh, one of my favorite ones. So some of these don't don't worry. Most of these, we are going to provide you a sketch to get ahead of time on your canvas. Okay. So don't worry about the detail and. You know that it's going to be too difficult. We will work through with you, okay? Yeah, it's it's it might look or seem difficult, but it's some not. of them are a little more difficult. But I know the ones that have been painting with us. Yes. I mean, I know They've you guys have good. a yeah. So I know you got a good skill level on you there. Now, uh, what you got them doing here is doing their background. Right, we are bringing that light blue, white all the way down to the bottom, and then rinsing and drying that okay. brush. Okay. Remember to grab those edges as you go. All right. Now I can concentrate on helping you with this. Right. Well, the next one after, <laughs> after the hanging out tree frog is the uh, peacock. That's on the 26th. The peacock is on the 26th. Uh-huh. There he is. And then I added two last night with the kids that were on with us. Right. So we added, and I don't think I have them listed on there. But I think this is the 29th of August. On the 29th of August? I'm not, I'm not positive. I don't remember now. Um, so Right, that's a Wednesday? The dadding panda, possibly. Because you got alpaca llama for the 29th. No, that's July. So we're into August now. Oh, August 29th is the yeah. dabbing panda. I think. I, I'm not positive. Three so. days after the 26th. So, so check the event first. All right, so check the, check event, the event for the dabbing panda. Yes. And then the... But that's for the kids camp. Kids camp. And then the last one that we're going to do, this is going to be on a Saturday. This is the only one that's going to be on a Saturday. Okay. The reason why we did that was because we want all of the kids to be able to invite their friends to paint with them live. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to invite as many friends as you want on the Zoom and have them paint the gumball machine with us. Oh, all right. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have a little paint party for the end of... The end of the season painting. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Give wow. us some thumbs up when you guys are ready to move on. There's no rush. Uh, thumbs up. Okay. We'll see if I can even see thumbs up. <laughs> we might have to look at the phone for that. Uh. 
No. Yeah. Wait, can you repeat? Which which part? The steps. The steps was just a tiny bit of blue on a corner of your brush and then white. So you keep grabbing a tiny bit of blue and white and just brushing the entire background on there. Okay. All right, so I'm getting some I'm getting some readies here. I got Sarah Ryan is ready. Sarah. Needy is ready. Needy okay, is ready. so they're coming they're coming in the comments. Good deal. I have I have two I have two screens. You have two screens? Okay. Yeah, I got one screen so I can see the comments, and then I got another screen so I can just watch you. Now, for every okay. every few seconds, yes. You move. Anya's ready. Kimberly's Anya's okay. Ready. Cinder's all set. All right. Um, just give it a couple of more minutes. minutes. A few more people. Okay. You got it. Trisha Byrne is good. Woohoo! Yeah. See, these are our, these are our Regulars. our regular audience, our and regulars. they're keeping up with you like it's no problem <laughs> now. You guys are good. Yeah, they just keep up with you. Very good. Uh, anybody new? We want to we want to make sure that they're okay. And, um, <laughs> Right, because we've still got um, we still got free events. Oh yeah, yeah. We're I'm gonna keep posting free stuff. Okay, guys. we talking all about this um. We good, Becca Lecca is back with us. Yes, and she says, "Hey, ready." Becca Lecca right. needs to do the Pacalaga. <laughs> Becca Lecca needs to do the Pacalaga. That's awesome. We gotta keep. We gotta. We gotta do something about that one. Okay. <laughs> You was talking about the kids camp, <laughs> and we've got um, we've got a couple of events coming up after this one. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we here? Where are we? Here? Tomorrow, koi. Tomorrow at eleven a.m. We're going to do the koi. That's a Zoom event. It's five dollars. Yep. If you have not done your mm -hmm. final payment, finish it this evening because I will send out one last time emails tomorrow morning at like eight in the morning, and then that's it. <laughs> right, and then on Sunday. Sunday, we're doing the beach boardwalk. That's a Zoom event. Uh, I don't know if I can reach that one. You don't know if you can reach that one? Maybe. Be careful. Got it. Right. Tracy Lalia says, just one minute, please. Sure. So that's why we're showing uh, what's coming of... up, the upcoming events. Yep. Well, this is beach boardwalk. Is this one Zoom or this one's free? I don't remember. No, this is a Zoom one. Zoom. Yes, the Beach Boardwalk is a Zoom one. It's going to be at 7 p.m. this Sunday. All right? And then that week, we start the kids camp on the 15th mm -hmm. at 5 p.m. That's the Wind Peaks Fly. You already showed that one. Yeah. Then the next one, with the next event we have, the next session we have, will be the day after. That's Jul Thursday, July 16th. We're doing the Orcas. That's a Zoom event. That's at 7 p.m. Thursday night. We're doing the or Orcas. Everybody wants to, everybody's been wanting to do the, the killer whales. You know what's funny though? A bunch of people were, I posted something about it today and a bunch of people were like, oh, we should do that. I'm like, it's, it's posted guys. So I don't know if, uh, so regularly go back and check through the upcoming events because maybe as I post them, you're not getting the notification that I've posted something new. Right. Um, I posted a bunch of stuff this week. So go back through those. Um, if you haven't done so already, or we're going to show them to you tonight. <laughs> Right, right. Becca Lecca says we need an anchor. An anchor. Write yeah, that down. Write I don't that have down. an anchor. I did an anchor a long time ago. Uh huh. But that was one of our very down. first ones. I did that at Red Lobster. Hmm. All right, and then we've got a. Uh, okay, can you go over it again? Nandita says, um, "Do you have to update the event? Do you have to update the event for Kids Camp? Do you have to update the event for the, Kids Camp?" Uh, the event is updated in there now, so. All of the paintings are posted in the page. Right. All of the dates are on the page. They're all at five o'clock. Okay. All of them. And and Novita says, um, Novita says, I can't wait for the ladies' night event. That's exciting. I haven't had a yes. girls' night out in a while, and yes. just in time. Oh, and just in time for my birthday. Uh, we'll do so that'll be special. Fun. That'll be special. I will talk night. a lot more about the girls' night out later because we have there's it's a lot to go over. But we're going to make that really special. We're going to make it a really fun event. Because, like I say, I know it's not just about putting paint on cams. We want you to have a fun time, too. Will I be there? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I okay, mean, normally when you have girls, girls night, I'm there, I, but I I'm mean, not there. I mean, I have there. to recruit girls. Well, I'm there, <laughs> but I'm there, but I'm not there. You know what I mean. I so if it's going to be girls Maybe night, we'll that means to, that uh, they know. have to understand that whatever they say... <laughs> Won't Mark's one find you won't find it anywhere else. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to hear anything. You say whatever you want. You do whatever you want, and I don't have anything yeah. to do with that. We have two events for that day, so it's a double double header. Yeah, so. <laughs> but you know, I mean, you can you can hold me in strict confidence. That I will not say anything. It's like I'll forget it as soon as you say it. So, all right. So we're rinsing and drying that flat brush. Yes, everybody's ready. Good. Rinsing and drying that flat brush, and then I want to create a green color for our trees. So we're going to create a little tree line. So I just mix a little scoop of blue and a little bit of yellow together to get a green color. Okay. It doesn't have to be any specific green color. I'm sorry, I don't mean to um, stop you, but um, Nandita is saying that it says a different time. And it reads, it ends on the July 29th. It, it, that's because Facebook only allows me to put a certain time frame. That was kind of just to get the get you on the page. You can look through that and all the details are in there. Okay. If you go to the Google Doc, which is in there, yes. it has all the details on the Google Doc. Okay. All right. But it's all there. All right. Thank you. Just want to make sure that was cleared up. All right. So we're going to do two little tree lines. We're going to do some on the left side and some on the right side. They could be all different sizes. And I want to kind of put them up here under, or um, where I kind of left off with my colors here. So you can sort of create a, a little line for yourself. So I'm just kind of going horizontally. And then I want to leave a space in the center for where my snowman's head is going to kind of come up here. So I'm just doing a little horizontal line with my brush. I'm just tapping it to just give myself an area where I want my trees to go. Okay. Okay. So what you'll do is with this brush, I want you to use the corner and you'll start at the top. So one little tap at the top and then you'll kind of tap right to left Whoa. with your brush. Let me zoom in on that. Okay. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing specialty work now. Specialty work. Yeah. They've got to be able to see that. All right. So I'm Alia taking... says, can I... Oh, and then they're saying, what type of brush are you using? This is and the flat Alia brush. And says, can I use a fan brush for this? Sure you can, yep. Absolutely. Fan brush is the best for this. Oh, so you made a tree. She knows, yep. So I'm taking the corner of my brush and just tapping it, pressing some of that down. Let them see. And then I'm going to move my brush right to left to fill that in. So just tapping right to left. And you can make these as big or as small as you want to. We're going to kind of overlap with some other color. All right, would you just stop at that second tree real quick? Mm -hmm. And just briefly, can you go over what you did, the steps? Because Jody's come late, and she's like, what did I miss? She missed the blue streak at the top. Oh, yep, blue stripe at the top. Blue stripe at the top. And then you brought that down, and then you blended in the white. Right white and blue white and blue underneath blend up and then blend down right you're gonna actually take that uh, white and blue you're gonna bring that all the way down your canvas right and then you can go back over with a tiny bit of yellow after you rinse and dry a tiny bit of yellow blend in tiny bit of red and blend, blend in. in yeah all right okay and then when you get to that point then you get to the point where you're gonna make your trees and go over the procedure again for the trees. How okay. you're doing so that? So our you're trees, tapping. you're mixing a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow for, right. a, Make for a green, green color. I'm starting. I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a tree line, well, kind of a horizontal line here, so I know where I want my trees to start and end. I want to leave a section in the center open for our snowman's head and hat. Okay. Okay. I'm leaving that open like that, and then when you get to your flat brush with that green you're kind of pressing the edge down a little bit and then it almost makes like um, almost like a check mark I don't know an upside down check mark really you're okay, going yeah. to press that right to left so you're kind of going over it and over it and over it yeah let them see that so you're just doing that right to left right to left 
all the way across. And you're just kind of just um, repeating it and overlapping those little marks. Because your hand movements are so fast. I know. I don't, I don't know how to not do it fast. Oh, <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know how to not go wow. fast. Wow. Okay. So you can, again, you can make these little trees as big or small as you want. And you're just tapping pretty much. Really. I'm just tapping the corner of my brush. It's just the corner of your brush that makes the check mark. Yeah, almost. I mean. Okay, so you, the corner of your brush makes the check mark. Yep. And you just tap it in there in like sort of like a triangle shape. Yep. And now I'm gonna and do. And that it. makes your trees. I'm gonna do a nice little big one up here. I'm gonna start all the way up they here. They look so good. I mean, the trees look so nice, but it's like <laughs> you're just tapping. So yes, that's the corner. It's just the corner, it's the of, corner my brush. of your brush you're tapping, yep. not the whole brush. Right. I mean, the little details like that people need to know because they're, they're tapping their brush. They could be tapping the whole brush. The corner gives it that V shape that, like you said, it that does. check mark. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't know what, what it is. And you're just that. overlapping those V I'm shapes. I'm just overlapping until I like the shape of my tree. And right, until you like the shape of the tree. Yeah. So, I don't know. I want to kind of make this one a little bit bigger since... We got a nice big one on the yeah, other see, side. You see, Anya's on her way to being a professional. Yes, she is. Okay, so she's she like, can I add shadows fan. and highlights in my trees? You sure can. I'm going to go over that, but you can add your own, honey. I love it. She already knows what's coming next. That's right. <laughs> That's great. Actually, what I want you to do next is, after you do have those trees on there, Yeah. I want you to, underneath our trees, I want you to pull down. So you're gonna take that flat brush. I don't have too much water on there. So you're gonna take that flat brush with that green on it. Let's make a little bit more. And you're gonna pull some down. So I'm just lining up that brush edge yeah. and pulling the paint down. So if I have a smaller tree, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. If I have a taller tree, I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. Okay. So this is our shadow of our trees. And you're just pulling it down. Yep. Okay. I I'm going to go to the other side and do the other ones. So again, I'm just sort of, let's see. I'm let's still make. zoomed in on you. Oh, good. Okay. So everybody can see how you're doing this. So I line those bristles up right at the edge and then kind of pull, pull that down. Yes. pull that paint down a little bit. If you could just do it a little bit slower so they can <laughs> see. Not too much pressure. Actually you probably depending on how much paint you have on your brush, you may need to use some pressure. Okay. Yeah, that's important. They need to know that. Now, for our audience, we want you to understand that um, I just named some of the Zoom events that we have coming up, but we also have free events coming yep, up. Yep, that's right. Okay, the next free event is going to be on the 24th of July. That's going to be Cardinals Paint Night uh, at 8 p.m. That's the Cardinal all the way up oh, there yeah. in the corner? This way. Right, Friday, the 24th of July at 8 p.m. is free on Facebook. We're sticking with our snow theme, guys. Yeah, yeah. But you can paint July. it without the snow. Yeah. So. Okay. So they got to put some <laughs> leaves on there then. They could, yeah. That okay. Great. <laughs> yeah, they just turned July into Christmas we time did. and Christmas snow and winter. time, winter. And <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for that winter stuff. No, 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 no. All right. Um, the next free event after that one is going to be that following Monday at 8 p.m. We're doing the Hummingbirds with the Sunflowers. A lot of people want that one. A lot of people like that one. And are anticipating the time when that comes. All right? Mm -hmm. And then to end the month of July, another free event. Three days after that one. That's Thursday, July 30th at 8 p.m. Free Dory. We're going to have all our events, all our uh, sessions will be at 8 p.m. All right? All the free sessions will be at 8 p.m. Friday the 24th at 8. They are? Monday yeah. the 27th at 8. Okay. And Thursday, July 30th at 8 is free Dory. Okay. All right.
All right. When I, while I pull that green down, after I rinse and dry. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I, I, look, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Needy just said, we got the lemon lavender blueberry ice cream from Gabriel's family. You we recommended did? it. It was amazing. I'm telling you, that was my favorite one. See, wow. I told you we should have done Gabriel's today. <laughs> They even said, we should have Gabriel's for dinner. I didn't mean to interrupt like that, but uh, All right. she just dropped the ball Man, right I'm there. telling you. That is <laughs> the best. Lemon lavender blueberry, blueberry. ice cream. so good. From Gabriel's Fountain. <sighs> okay. Now you're going to get me to think about that. Okay. <laughs> so rinsing and drying that brush. After I pulled down that green, I then want to go across right to left. I'm kind of just brushing over this. All right. Just a little. I want to almost create those horizontal brush strokes in there. So it may be a little bit dry. Oh. If it is, that's okay. All right. Don't worry Soft. too much. Just blend it in. It. Yeah, I'm kind of just trying to get that a little bit of a shadow underneath those trees and blend it into our snow a little. Okay. If it's too dry, it's too dry. It's okay. And rinse and dry. Yep, still close up on you. Okay. And then I think we're going to do our snowman next, guys. Why don't you guys finish that part, um, and then actually we'll go back over and do our highlights and stuff in the trees, and then okay, just kind of give us a thumbs up that you're ready after your trees and your after the trees and the shadows, the shadows of dark. the trees. Yep. Yeah, ice cream, huh? Lemon, lavender, and blueberry, blueberry. I didn't even think about even trying to taste that flavor. Because you're not, oh, yeah, no. You said no fruit in ice cream. No, that's right. I'm like, what, <laughs> what, oh my God. That's three flavors, lemon, lavender, and blueberry. Yes. I can't even comprehend. I, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even imagine that kind of a taste. So, who was it that said that? Um, needy. Needy. Okay. Yeah. So needy. Yeah, needy was like, yeah, uh huh. Check out. It was awesome. The hey, hey, I don't know if needy is grown. Oh. You you gonna show her liquor? No, this isn't liquor. Oh, actually. what is that? Okay. But you can use it for liquor. So this is a blueberry lavender drink mix. Oh. But it's it's uh, um I want to say sugar free, um but you can just add it to your seltzers, which is what I'd like to do. Oh, if you like that taste. Right, but, but it's just blueberry lavender. So get a lemon seltzer, and you can make your own blueberry lavender wow. lemon seltzer. Wow, okay, so yeah, cool. okay. Wow, <laughs> blueberry lavender. Blueberry I just lavender can't even, and lemon. I, oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, Needy, you, you heard it first. <laughs> oh can my you, um, Sarah says, Oh, no, I'm sorry. J Jen says, can you repeat the last instruction, please? Yep. So after you've pulled down that green from your trees, for your shadows, you're rinsing and drying. And then you're going to go back over with horizontal brush strokes with a clean, dry brush. So just kind of to brush and make those horizontal brush strokes again. So we're sticking with that horizontal line. Mine are still, because I it's kind of dried, it's still just pulled down. Oh. So it's okay. Okay. It still works. You still know it's a shadow. Right? Uh-huh. All right. All right. Novita says, lavender is so good. I have it growing in my garden, and I use it to make muffins and cookies. That's awesome. And cake. I, I just never thought about that, that my, taste. My friend made me a uh, homemade lavender simple syrup, and that's upstairs, too. Okay. And I use that in limoncello tea. <laughs> right. So you I and Aiden love the lavender, but I'm like, okay, lavender. Uh, <laughs> not a flavor. What? What? I not never, never put it flavor. as a flavor. It smells good. It's relaxing. It tastes good. I used to love those. Remember those? Uh, it was I think it was by Chowards, maybe? Is it Chowards? Um, they used to have like, oh no, those were violet. That wasn't lavender. Okay. I don't remember. Yo, yeah, well, see, Sarah's on. Sarah Ryan is more on my, on my wavelength. Blueberry cheesecake ice cream. Okay. Okay, I could I eat could that. that. <laughs> if I could find that, I will eat that. <laughs> I don't oh know where to find any blueberry cheesecake ice well, cream. Well, I know Gabriel's makes a strawberry cheesecake. Ice cream. Ice cream, I think. 
Oh, uh, well, you can try that for the next time you get me some ice cream from them. <laughs> I'll do anything cheesecake. Yeah. All right. So after we rinse and dry those brushes. Yes. We want you to grab a good scoop of white and a little bit of blue. We're going to make a light blue color mm -hmm. for our snowman. So I'm going to start down at the bottom and we're going to make his bottom uh, circle or bottom snowball down here. And you can make this kind of as big or as small as you want to. I'm doing it about, so it's almost like the size of my hand. I have little hands though. Uh -huh. They're just chubby. <laughs> but I have tiny hands. So I'm just uh, gonna fill in that snowball. Okay, because you could barely see I know. it, but um, but I am close up on you. Yep. So we're making a snowball. That's the first one. Again, it's about as big as my hand, and your snowballs don't have to be perfectly round, guys. You know, it could be a little oval, it could be a little oblong. And then my next one, I'm gonna overlap. So I want to overlap the second snowball yeah that's a little bit smaller yeah it's hard to see I know sorry and the third one again I'm going to make a little smaller but still I want to overlap that last snowball so each of them are overlapped I know, it's hard to see it, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's very hard to see it. In fact, um, maybe I need to shrink it a little bit so they can see the other. The other one? Yeah. Okay. So they can get an idea from the other one. So those were made with the light blue paint that I just made. Mm-hmm. And then what I'm going to do after those snowballs are in place I'm just grabbing a scoop of white on my brush. A and scoop I of white? I want to come down the right side of all of my snowballs. Okay. So a nice big scoop of white. So it looks like the right side. So it's kind of, you can see the, the shape now of our snowman. Okay. Yeah, then maybe they'll be able to see the shape better. Let's see. And then you can kind of go over that a little bit to sort of blend it toward the center if you want to. And then rinse and dry. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you can really barely see it. I know. Sorry, guys. <coughs> I guess when you get to the outlining part, then that'll make it yeah. better. Yeah. So bottom snowball is about the size of my hand. The middle snowball is about the size of my palm. And the smallest snowball on top is about maybe the size of like the bottom of a cup. Okay. I don't know if that's any help, but. <laughs> now Anya's saying, can you do a Christmas tree painting with Christmas presents tree. at the bottom? Oh, we'll definitely do and that. And my too. Halloween theme painting, I know, please? don't worry, it's on my <laughs> list, girl. Halloween, I have three paintings lined up for October, so. Three? Don't worry, yep, we have a. Love Halloween. We have a Hocus Pocus theme painting that I have not shown yet. I'm gonna keep that one a secret. Okay. We have Anya's candy bag painting and we will definitely have some um, a pumpkins in a field, like a pumpkin patch painting. Okay. All right, so again, our snowballs are in there. Yoli said I downgraded to five by seven. Okay, so you'll just make your snowballs a little smaller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch brushes now. Um, let's do, let's work on our fence. I wanna work on the fence posts around him. So I'm gonna go to that medium size round brush that I that I have. Yeah. That's that number eight, if you have it. That's, sometimes they have numbers on the brushes and that's the size that it is. Okay. So rinse and dry, get it to a little point. We're gonna create the fence around our snowman. So the first thing I want to do is create the posts. Now your fence can be as tall as you want, as short as you want. I'm going to work two posts 
on either side of him. Okay. And I'm going to come out about maybe two inches from either side of him so that I can continue my fence along the way. So I'm going to do about a, let's say, how big is this? Is that as tall as my brush handle? Maybe just as tall as my brush handle, but just the wooden part of my brush handle. Let's use that as a guide for how tall. All right. We can start small. We can always get bigger. So almost at the top of his body. Yeah, it's about. Where the head that's and the true. Body is. That's true. It's about as tall as his from the top. From, from his neck. From his neck down to maybe the middle of his snowball down here. Okay. That's a good guide. So we can make this a couple of. And I'm sorry, I'm using my brown. I didn't say that. Just using my brown. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Yeah. And I wanna make it thick enough so that it looks like it's a good post. And on the bottom, don't worry too much, we'll kinda cover that with some snow down there. All right. And then I wanna repeat this same post size and height over here. I'm just creating kind of some really long, skinny rectangles. Again, don't worry about the bottom too much. They can kind of just fall off into the snow there. Okay. We'll go back to those. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so, you know, it's just, I'm just concerned that with all of this wishing for snow in July, it's going to pay, <laughs> it's going to pay dividends in the winter time. Stop. So we have our two posts, and now we need to create the fence part, the horizontal part of our fence. So I'm going to come down just a little bit from the top of my post, maybe a, maybe a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and then okay. horizontal, we want horizontal lines across. And hopefully I'm making this straight because... Are we going to move your paint out the way? Stand in front of it. <laughs> Make sure you're not doing it. I always, I always look like it, I'm doing it crooked because I'm on an angle. Yeah, you're just leaning a little bit. That's all. <laughs> Grab those edges, and then I'm gonna come down and do the bottom post as well. well bottom, I should say rail, not the post. Okay, Nobita saying, yeah. my trees look like they were ran over by a snowplow. <laughs> we can, we're going to add uh, highlights and, and shadows in there and a couple little tree trunks. So maybe we can help that. And Inbar says, can you wait two minutes, please? Sure. As, as you finish making the fence, mm -hmm. then you'll wait for a few minutes, right? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to continue finishing my post, and then we'll let everybody get back to the same spot, and then we'll go forward. Okay. So I'm just going to finish my horizontal post on this yeah, side. Yeah, connect everything. Yep, I'm just going to go to this side. I want to make sure that we're at the same height here. another snowman one that I love that we've done um, and we'll do that one in the winter um, we have another we're working on a fundraising event so you've heard us talk about Jack's kids um, several times we've done at least three fundraising events for them and mm -hmm. all of their major fundraisers of course are canceled this year and they've not been able to raise funds um, oh, wow. Like we need to for about that. for these kids who are, um, they're all terminally ill children. Um, and Jack's Kids helps um, with whatever the family might need, whether it's medical, whether it's just... All types of expenses. All expenses, whether it's, uh, you know, like trying to 
create a little wish for a kid before anything should happen, um, whatever it might be. I've been involved with them for several years now and I saw a post about their, that they've not been able to do. They used to do a, a major softball game every year. Right. They can't do that this year. They've not been able to do their bowling event this year. We haven't been able to do our paint event in person. And the paint so would be turned out so good. We've done 86 and, a hun and almost 100 people at the last two. Yeah, um, at that the was very last the two. biggest one you've done. That is the biggest ones we've done. So we are going to do a virtual paint night for them. We are just waiting on some details with them to determine okay. a date, but that will come in September. Um, uh, they, yeah, we have to let them promote it too, because that's all of their people yeah. will come and join. Yes, we are going to promote. We are going to, I don't want to share the painting yet because I want them to give us an okay first, yeah. but um, I have a good idea of which one we're going to do. So. Okay. Um, but yes, it will be a donation event, and we will have you guys fill out probably a Google form in order to Can they look up Jack's Kids anywhere, or do yeah, they just Google it, absolutely. Jack's Kids? Yep, Jack's Kids, I'm sure. Have, I, I can even post, um, well, you'll see. In the next couple of days, you'll see a All post right. coming from us with more details. Yeah, we've been working with them for a while. We have. So as I create those horizontal posts here, so now this is up to you guys. If you want to connect a fence post behind them, you can. If you want to leave it open, like it's a, a gate or an opening, you can. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and connect like I did before. So I'm coming right up to the edge of my snowman with these little horizontal posts or horizontal rails. Mm -hmm. And just filling those in. up to the edge of my snowman. And filling them in. Just a little bit more paint. Alright, I need a new, so this is not painting related, but I'm yeah. almost done with the TV series that I'm watching as far as Netflix, which I try to do at night before I go to bed. So I need a new series. What is everybody watching? Uh-oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, you, uh, no the, two the, people watch the, the same the, thing. I know. That's so exactly what So it's going to be like a million shows. People are going to be saying, oh, I watch this. I watch this. I watch this. I watch this. I'm, I will say that I'm not into... Um, Horror. Yeah, I'm not into horror. You're not into gory stuff. No. You don't no. want to see blood. Not really. Yeah. Um, unless it's like revenge based or um, <laughs> that's kind of some kind of drama based kind of you know. <laughs> yeah. There's blood that's I just situational. So to I it. just finished the series of Revenge, the old show Revenge that I used that I watched. Right. If it's ago. emotional. Then that's right up her alley. It's emotional. She'll love it. It still is on an angle, man. It's all right. You can't really tell. <laughs> it's like I'm seeing it from that angle. That's all. I swear, right this, looking this way. Because you can't help it. That's just the way it is. All the paintings are oh like that. Oh, my gosh. So Except you always You see know. the difference between the painting that you stood in front of <laughs> and the painting that you did on your, on, your, um, on your session. That's always how you can tell which one was which. My sample and, that's and my the key. actual. That's the key. So when we do a big <laughs> when we do a big showing and people look at all your pictures, they're gonna go, That one was from the session, <laughs> that one was the one she made. They're gonna know. I know. Okay, they're coming in, here we go. They're coming in. <laughs> Good. The Babysitter Club in Netflix. Oh my gosh, that, that that's what Anya's used, suggestion. Anya, I used to read those books when I was younger. Then Inbar says Fauda. I don't know that. I don't I've know. Never heard of that. Or maybe okay. it's something else, but it's spelled F A U D A. And then, huh. based on the graphic novel series, yes, that's what she's talking about, Babysitter Club. Yep. On Netflix. Okay. I used to read those books as a kid. Yep. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, the jury's still out for me. I'm trying to find a new show, and I can't. <laughs> um, you know, you I were watched watching the something show. that you started. Yeah, but it was rather disappointing. It wasn't. 
It was all over the place. Oh. I was watching that with Al Pacino Hunters. Yeah, you were kind of excited about that. First. Well, some of it is exciting, and some of the things that they insinuate is exciting. Okay. But the story itself was just all over mm. the place. Okay. And it ended with a heck of a cliffhanger, but it was just like, wow. Wait, it ended, it's done? With this, like, uh, this? I don't know if they're going to do it again. Oh. You know, it was 11 episodes, and they, well, the way they ended it, I would hope that they was going to continue it on, but <laughs> you never know with these shows. Oh, that's so true. All right, again, guys, give us a thumbs up when you're done with your fence part so far, and we will move on to the next step. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, Olivia says, I purposely changed mine to look like an angle. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I'm okay, now, Davida says, my husband and I are watching 24 again. Oh, you That's know what? That's on Hulu. Tell As you. if you have the prime, we watched The Expanse, Expanse, based on the book series, and Jack Ryan, also on Prime. Okay. Right, see, I, I um, you know, I know about all of those. Oh, wait, now, um, Epstein is a good documentary. Oh. Yoli says that. Yeah, Epstein is a good documentary. Okay, yeah, I should watch that, actually. And then, uh... Right, and Anya says, I almost read, I read almost all the books. Aw. All right, so, so Jack awesome. Ryan, Expanse. Okay, Expanse, I've never heard of. I've heard of Jack Ryan. Yeah, that's Ryan. on Prime, I see it, but I haven't watched it yet. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Yeah, you know, we just don't have that show that's out there, like, where we could sit down together and sit down and watch together and go, yeah, yeah. we watch it every time it comes, like, here it comes, it's today's you know, we day. watch Big Bang Theory. That's pretty much it right now. <laughs> That's all we watch together that, now. But before that, no, but see now. We used it, to. We used to watch Game of Thrones. Yes. Religiously. Yes. Okay? We used to watch True Blood. Yes. Religiously. Yes. Uh, we used to watch Dexter. Mm. Religiously. <laughs> okay? We, every, when every Sunday Dexter's coming on, stop what we're going to do. We're going to watch Dexter. It's true. We watched Nurse Jackie. Religiously. Yeah. Okay, we just need a show. That we could sit down together and go, oh, it's on? Let's sit down. Our, t I think our likes, I don't know. I would say our likes have changed, but I don't know. No, my likes haven't changed. I just haven't found a show that I'm going, I need to see this. Okay. <laughs> Game of Thrones, I need to see it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Orphan Black, I need to see Orphan Black. That was a really good one. Okay, and yes, it's I need really to see it with one. you. I need to sit down with you and watch. <laughs> uh, it's like, if it's on and you're not there, uh, well, I'll just wait. I won't watch. Okay, we need a show like that again. Aww. All right, we got people all set. Good. All right. Evelyn, Kimberly, all set. Fabulous. Thumbs up. Guys. Ready. Beautiful. Needy's ready. Awesome. Uh, okay. uh oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh, Cinder know. says, my friend and I got into Pretty Little Liars. That was your show. You know what? I'll that was your show. I have, you know what? That I need to do that. I want to go back to Pretty Little I Liars? I stopped watching it after a couple of seasons. Yeah. And then, you know what? It's like when you came pre around. Our guilty pleasure. When Mark came around. We have around. fake <laughs> meetings at work to discuss and figure out <laughs> secrets. I love it. Wow. Yeah. I think I stopped watching a lot of shows when Mark came into my life. Really? And so then I started watching it on me? A little. But we well, started we watching watch shows different. together. Yeah, we did. But like Until all they the ran out. all the shows that I used to watch on my own. I turned you on the weeds. Yeah, that was a good one too. All right. All uh, right. Fowler is in a real is an Israeli series, a good oh. action series. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good to know. Ozark on Netflix. I watched it. You I, watched it. Yeah. Mm. Bones. Nah. I don't know. We'll see. All right. We're also currently watching Snowpiercer on cable. I do. I did. See right. This. We kept seeing the commercials yeah. for that. Yeah, that looks good too. All right. So All next right. step. All right. I'm gonna switch. Nope. I'm not gonna switch. I'm, I am sticking with that round brush. Same round brush. Same round brush. I want to create a light brown. So you're gonna take a little scoop of your white. You're gonna grab a little bit of your brown and make a light brown for our shadows of our fence. Mm -hmm. So from our post, from the bottom of our post, I want to do this on an angle. So I'm going to come down on an angle with my light brown color. And you could even do this with the light blue, or if you want to do it with the light blue, if the brown looks weird for you, yeah, that's fine too. So I'm going to do that same angle from this post over here. May kind of run into your snowman depending on where he is. 
sitting there says, yeah, figures Mark would get in the way. <laughs> Mark did get in the way. Mark, no, I turned you on to Mark, a lot of Yeah, shows. Mark gave me money, other different shows that I, you know, I used to watch TV by myself. I didn't have... Didn't even know there was things out there like True Blood. Yeah, I did it. And then those horizontal lines are going to stay horizontal. So I'm going to come up here almost like, you know, give me almost the same amount of space. From the bottom up, so I'm going to use about the same amount of space from the bottom of my post, yeah. my shadow, yeah. and just horizontal brush strokes, just light, straight across. That's sort of tricky. Not really. Gotta be careful. Not really. And then I'm going to do another one. About the same. See, now Yoli says another good show is Hannah. Oh, somebody else asked, told me about that one too. I have not. That's watched already that into yet. season two. I haven't seen is season it? one yet. Okay, you know what? I think what I need is a show that's probably like done already, because I hate getting to the end of something and then it not being like the end. Like there's more series coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like an all or nothing. Well, um, Colleen says, Dynasty remake. I never watched Dynasty. Now, see, I was a big Dynasty back in the day. All really? Right? I have yet to watch the new Dynasty. Oh, there's a new Dynasty. Yeah, and I think there's a new Dallas too. Cause I, I'm currently watching the old Dallas. You know, see that's what I'm doing now. I'm watching the old stuff. <laughs> okay, I, there's nothing to watch on TV now, so I'm watching old stuff. Okay. Okay, and Dynasty is one of the things I was about to get back into. That's funny. I would watch all of that. I watched Dynasty, um, the Colbys. Um, uh, all, all of those spinoff shows, <laughs> Dallas. Um, I watched all of those shows back in the day. They were my favorite shows. All right. So Are the shadows on a diagonal or straight? Yes. So the just the post one. So the shadow of the post is on a diagonal. Mm -hmm. Shadow of this post is on a diagonal. Mm -hmm. But the lines for the fence, the rails. the rails are same. They're still straight. Okay. So I'm going to put kind of a little post shadow over here because it would kind of be hitting over here about this area. Okay. Sarah Ryan says Supernatural. Um, I feel like I remember that show. I don't think, I don't know if I watched it or not. Yeah, I think that used to come on. Um, I may have watched that a bit. Yeah. That's I love Gilmore Channel Girls. Then. Maybe that's what I need to do is go back and watch Gilmore Girls. I still love that one. All right, give us a thumbs up when you guys are done with your rails, and we okay. will move on to the next step. There's lots of little details in this painting, guys, so <laughs> hanging in there. And Jody says, Hannah just heard you say dynasty, and she said, Synasty. Synasty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Jody says, we just finished the original Hulk series. Uh, I don't know if that Yeah, one. no, I, I can't watch that. <laughs> like, I don't know if that one would Charmed. Me. Oh, yeah, I used to watch that, too. Yeah, I used to watch that. That's true. I used to watch that. 90210, I can't stomach that one. Come on now. 90210 was my... No, I never watched one episode Was my show. But <laughs> Dynasty, I was all up in Dynasty, okay? <laughs> and then I was, I was like, when they put Diane Carroll on there, I was done. I was so happy with Dynasty. <laughs> I was like, they finally got a black person on there. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, but I was always a John Forsythe fan, so Blake Aww. Carrington was my favorite character. Aww. Blake. Late. And Joan Collins was one of my favorites as well. Right. Yeah, I just love me some Dynasty. Just like I got you into Frasier. I used to watch Frasier before you, though. Oh, yeah, but you know, I was like crazy for Frasier. Yeah. You was like, wow, you watch one back to back to back to back to back? Yeah, you got the DVD? I yeah, used to wow, watch, like, you like Mad, Frasier. Mad About You. Was, was yes, I had all of that stuff one. on DVD. All right, I think I'm going to move on, guys. Okay. So I'm going to switch to, we're going to add the um, some other colors in our trees. So if you want to add some stems in your trees, you can switch back and go to that smaller round brush for a couple of little stems. Um, I, don't, I probably should have done the stems first before we did the, uh, before we did the trees, yeah. but I'm just going to do some broken lines in there with that tiny, with that smaller round brush. Okay. 
So I'm just using a little bit of black. I'm going to kind of probably go over this anyway, so I might lose them, but well, that's okay. I'm, I'm zoomed in on you, but it's Good. like, you are you, oh, okay, you're putting little lines down the middle. Yeah, I... That's like supposed to be the trunk? Right. I was. I should have probably done the trunk before I went to really? all the other things, but you know what? It's okay. Mm. All right. I'm going back to my flat brush. You probably don't even need that, so don't stress about that. So um, back to the flat brush, rinsed and dried, and we're fluffing. So okay. I kind of like fluff it over my hands, get the bristles kind of messy looking. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some yellow on the tips of those bristles. So yellow. yellow. Yep. So now, Jessica just came in and she says that um, I want to watch the replay tonight, Good and deal. I sent you Venmo prior to having. She said I missed the thing last Thank night. You. How did it go? Oh, it was I've done good. so many paintings, Aww. and I have this one. The mason jar, the fifty shade one, to uh, still do. We're getting there. She's like, man, I love you guys, and that you offer this really <laughs> helps stabilize my anxiety. <laughs> Aww. I love that I can replay and go to my own pace. Yes, agreed. Well, we thank you for joining us. We appreciate that. Yeah, last night was pretty cool. We had a lot it of people was. come out. So again, I have this, sorry. That's all right. This <laughs> the tip of the brush with yellow. And we're gonna use those same brush strokes. So I'm just kind of tapping, or you can just stipple. So tapping the tip of the bristles right to our trees. Oh, let them see that. So I'm just tapping. The, the tips. The tip of the bristles right on the edge of the trees. Okay, just on the edge. Um, well, it can be anywhere really. I mean, it's- It's all the way up of, and down. Yeah, but I'm trying to get like the edges. So if there's those nice big branches coming off of those Right. Evergreen trees. I'm trying to almost make it look like it's the highlight on the edge of each of those trees. Okay. I think they can see that pretty good up close. Okay, good. Other than my arm being in the way there. Sorry. Right. <laughs> you know, once you move it, they can see how it looks. And so, they, yeah. the majority of them know what stippling is. That's right. And you do, you do, uh, you do it so fast. I'm sorry. See how you just did that? <laughs> right, see, then you have to be like dry. Jessica. You have to replay it and replay go at your it. pace because you just move it you so can, quickly. You can. You can always go back to the replay. Now I'm going to have to tell everybody that the video is saved right to the most, right to the page and not to the event. So. My yeah, apologies. how did that happen? We gotta figure it I out. I think, I don't know, I, I just, I goofed, I don't know. It's okay because I have the, the two boxes up so I can see you paint from one. <laughs> and That's I can so see strange. the comments on the other. So, so strange. They're both dragging though. And after you do yellow on those trees, you're rinsing and drying and you're gonna go to white. So okay. you're gonna grab this time I want you to grab more white. So I want you to grab not just the tip, but get a good bit of white on there. Okay. Because the white you want to make it look like it's kind of coated with snow. So each of those branches, you almost want to be coated with snow. So I'm kind of just on those edges of each of those branches and making it look like it's kind of filled with snow on those branches. Yeah, see, Jessica's got it all planned out. Okay, <laughs> she's like, um, she's like, this is gonna be great in the Aww. winter time to put up. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. Absolutely, she says, I cannot wait for fall things too. Me that's too. That's my favorite time of the year. Me too. She says, thank you guys, and I'll replay tonight when Aww. the rest of the world sleeps. It's <laughs> when I find the quiet time and the peace to do it. I agree. See, that, see, see now, she's gonna do it tonight when people are asleep. I understand that quiet time and the peace, because mm -hmm. for me, that time is at 5.30 in the morning when I wake up, mm -hmm. and I get outside, and the birds is out there, and everybody's out there, and it's nice and lit outside, you can see, and it's just peaceful. It's just a real nice, peaceful moment, time. So I'm just pressing the tip of the brush down, making it look like there's snow hanging on all those branches. All right, so this is, I like going to your page instead of the event to find the videos. I think it would be easier. I 
I don't disagree with you mm-hmm. when you're coming on with the lies, mm-hmm. but to go back to to find an old one, it's difficult because you'd have to scroll through tons of things in order to find it. Right, instead of just going to the event. Right, instead it's kind of categorized in our past events and you can go scroll to whichever event you wanted to go to and that's where we know the video is. Right. So, um, but yeah, so I goofed today. So um, So this one won't be with that group. It'll have to stay So this is only the second one I've ever mishapped that with. The other one was the 80s night. Okay. I missed that one too. All right, so again, some thumbs up after you're done with those trees. All right, so fence done. Fence. Shout out to the fence fence. done. Trees highlighted. Right. Snowed upon. Trees are completely done. Our shadows of our trees are completely done. Right, you got the snow in the trees and everything. We need to shadow and snow our fence, and we need all of the details on our snowman. Okay. So we will go to some of that next. All right. What you drinking? I made an iced coffee. Oh. For a Friday night. It's now gone. What do we go through? We didn't get through all the events. We ended on Dory, I think, right? Mm-hmm. What do we got next? So, after Yeah, four. you're talking about the month of August. Now we're into August, yep. All right, the first event we have on the month of August is a free event. Yep. Okay, that's Sunday, August the 2nd at 1 p.m., the Coffee Java Tea Mug. Yep, that is behind the dream catcher. I don't know if you can see that one. behind the dream catcher. Behind the dream catcher on the right. Oh, yeah, we can't see it. Okay. It's covered by the snowman. Sorry, you'll have to go to the event to see it. (laughs) Yep. And then, um, okay, let's see, then, uh. The next one is the dream catcher. Hold on, because we got kids' camps things here. Uh-huh. The next is that Thursday, August 13th, the Dream Catcher. That's a Zoom event. Yep. That's $5. It'll be at 8 p.m. Correct. And um, Tracy Lawler says, um, where will this video be again? So this will just be right in the Mimosas page. So when you come back to the Mimosas page, there's usually a tab. I think it says, like, photos, videos, events. Just click on photos, and that's where it will be. <laughs> okay, right. All right, so now we have... Um, so after Dreamcatcher... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So on the 15th of August right, at so 1 p.m. This is our girls' night. Girls' out night out. Day. That's another free event. Day, okay, so this oh, is... Oh, it's girls' day out. Right, so this is going to be... So it is a free day, per se. Yeah. Can they see me? Or am I... In the picture? Uh, yeah, you're in the picture. Okay. <laughs> Since I don't want to talk to anyone. Um, okay, so this is the first event. Uh-huh. So the first event is at 1 o'clock. What I have done is, so I am partnered with and I belong to a group called Mimosa Marketing. Just kind of plays into my own business name. Isn't that nice? Yes. So Mimosa Marketing is a group of smaller, small business women. Um, most of us are moms. We're all trying to have a side hustle going on and some of it is our full-time businesses right so all of these ladies are donating not all of them most of them are donating prizes for this event I'm going to put up links to each of their pages okay. to make purchases from them should you want should you choose to all right um, we'll do a very small like kind of a whatever a dollar for a spot or something so that I can put your name on spinners um, or pull tickets. Haven't figured that out. The spinners are just nice and random. Uh-huh. And then, but I would like to do it live and let you guys win live while we're painting. That so, would be cool. So we may have we. I just need another computer. <laughs> just need another computer, or maybe an iPad. I don't know. Maybe I'll borrow Aiden's iPad. <laughs> all right. Anywho, so the very first one is all giveaway days it's prize day there will be some buy-ins for different prizes we will still paint this also that's for the girls night out saturday june uh, august 15th uh, right august 15th that's uh, 1 p.m so 1 p.m right in the evening is adults only adults only night it is going to be a zoom it will be a private zoom right for the wine glass painting for the Fifty Shades painting. 
Okay. Um, so adults only. There will also be prizes and buy-ins for this themed event okay. for adults. Um, so that is a day of prizes and giveaways. That's the same day, but it's at 8 p.m. Right. Saturday, so that's August a late 15th. Night. We are that's a Zoom event. It's going to be $5? Right. Okay. Yep. But that is, um, yes, that is $5 as well as all of your buy-ins. I think it's a $5 per space on the wheel. And we're just going to pick names as the wheel goes throughout, throughout the night. Okay. So the more people that um, put into it, the more and bigger the prizes are. Okay. That's yeah. cool. We so far have $100, $200 items. All right. That are in there that I am that I've bought to donate for that night. So we're excited for that. All right, we good with our. What do we think? I think we're good. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to you. We're going. They back. needed like two minutes, and we gave them like about ten. Ten. Minutes. Okay. So going back to our small round brush, mm -hmm. we are going to go to black for right now. So just a little bit of black. We're going to detail, do our um, shadow on the fence. So on the bottom of each of our rails, we're gonna brush some black. Okay. So this is just the bottom of each one. Bottom of each rail. And then I'm gonna have you do the left side of each rail. Okay. Of each, sorry, of each post, not rail. Uh, Jody says, do you need a donation from 31? Sure. I I would be happy to take a donation from 31. <laughs> Absolutely. We can do that. Okay. You, we can chat afterwards. I appreciate that, Jody. Okay. So, again, it's underneath each rail. We're putting just a little line of black with that small brush. Underneath each rail. Every rail is going to get a little line of black underneath. And you're doing the pinky stabilization? I am doing that pencil grip. Hold it like a pencil. Okay. Pinky down to stabilize so I have a little bit of little bit of control over where my brush goes. All right. So under each one of these guys and on the left of each post. And underneath. We have, I'm excited, we have, um, so Jams by Kim is one of my favorite local, um, local small business women. She makes homemade artisan jams. Oh, that's right. She yes. is, so for my, my friend who likes uh, lemon, blueberry, lavender, she yeah. makes blueberry, lemon, and blueberry, lavender or is it lemon lavender it might be lemon lavender i can't remember she makes two of those combinations she is donating the blueberry lemon jam for us as a giveaway that night oh okay yeah that's that's a unique talent that lady <laughs> i love her she's just she's amazing so black on the bottom and the left side of each of the rails and then i'm going to go to black again so Every once in a while, rinse and dry that brush and get it back to a point. Okay. And then I'm going to do the hat on our snowman. Oh. Okay, so on his head, now I'm not going right across the top of his head. I want to kind of cut off a little bit of that snowball by making, go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna zoom in for this. <laughs> Mark is zooming, here we go. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of his head here by creating a curved line. Okay, a curved line. Okay. We're gonna create, we're gonna make another curved line a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm gonna come around like this. Oh. So that's kind of the rim of the hat. And then we want to do, so instead of going straight up, we need to do it on a little bit of an angle. Right. For his top hat. See, 
I do it on an angle anyway. A anymore. little bit of an angle for the top hat. So each of these little angles should be about the same height. Or about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And then I'm going to connect them with the same curve. So use that same curve mm -hmm. up and around, and then we are filling in. Okay. So if you want to leave a stripe for the red for in the hat, you can leave the stripe in there. All right. Just create a little, two little more lines for that area for a stripe. And now you're going to fill it and in. And we're going to fill in the rest. So filling in that rim of the hat. Guys are hanging in there. I know we're doing lots of chatting. Lots of chats tonight. You were away for a while. <laughs> we were. Does anybody else have any questions? You guys yeah, what know. color? Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I'm using black. I, I thought I said that. We're sticking with black. Sticking and then, with um, black. And then Jody says, just let me know when you need it. Thank you, hon. Right, you're using <clears throat> the black. Yep. Using the black. Uh, incidentally, the last event we have um, for the month of August is going to be the Sloth Paint Party on the 23rd. Yes. So that's a Sunday. There are eight tickets left for anybody that is local. Yeah, so that's it. Eight spots left. Yep. We will have to wear a mask indoors, but mm -hmm. we are able to. You're welcome to go outside and, you know, take a breath. Um, but we are serving food also, so it includes your um, your lunch or your dinner. I forget what time exactly it is. I want to say it's like, you know, we would call it dinner in between lunch and dinner. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, it will include some food. It will include some uh, a big bag of swag. I will be putting those together in the next couple sloth of weeks. Sloth swag. All sloth swag. I am making sure that everybody has their own personal bottle of hand sanitizer. We are making sure we have pre-wrapped as much as we possibly can um, for you guys. Lots of other surprises coming, but um, the sloth will be there. <laughs> and I, um, I lobbied the zoo to get you the tried. sloth to paint for us. <laughs> and they said, nah, no, we're just no. gonna let the sloth chill. We don't wanna <laughs> paint with them. And Novita said the 23rd is my birthday. Aw, happy 23rd birthday. 23rd, yeah, you're going to have to... a special, special uh, session. I'm telling you. We are going to, I plan on hoping to have a photographer there for the day. And then... Oh, we're going to have video. We're going to have gonna pictures. I'm going to live feed it. Yep. We, on the, oh, on that the, will be awesome. Yeah. We're gonna live feed it. I'm just going to have a live feed going the entire time. So, so you guys all can our, all our audience pop in and pop check it out. And see what we're doing? Yep. Oh, that will be awesome. <laughs> we have to do that now. Yeah, I will. I we will. have to be. We have to do the live feed I from will. there. I will. That's gonna be awesome. Y'all are gonna love it. <laughs> see, this way you get to celebrate with us and see the sloth. That's and right. See all the people that showed up and see their sloth swag. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. I'm sticking with that black. I'm gonna do his arms next. So his branches for his arms. So I'm coming not quite maybe halfway down, but maybe a third of the way down mm -hmm. on his middle snowball. Okay. So they don't have to be straight lines, guys. They're sticks, right? So they're kind right. of a little crooked. Um, crooked and yeah. So I'm going to press my brush down and I'm going to pull up and away. And as you're pulling away? It gets a little bit thinner as you pull away. Okay. So up and away. You can add another little branch in there. You can add two of them if you want to. Now, Jody's saying, when is that? The sloth, the sloth is the party? August 23rd. August 23rd. And then on this side of my snowball, yeah. I want to come from the very edge. Since I don't want it in his chest, I want it coming from sort of behind him. Okay. So same idea. We're going to kind of start over here and then pull up and away. Just sort of make it a little bit thicker down here maybe. And then I want to add another little branch off of that. Maybe another tiny one over there. 
you can go ahead and add your buttons or your coal on him. So I'm going to come down the front of him. I'm not coming straight down in the center. I want to do this almost in a curved pattern okay. down the front of him. And then, this one's like all messed up now. What the heck? Now, Anya says, wait, branches are brown, right? You can make them brown. I made mine you black. You can make them brown. You yep. can make them black. So we have our branches. I put my coal or buttons on there. And then I'm going to do his eyes and his mouth. So I'm going to start with the... Let's start with the eyes. So I don't, again, I don't want them straight across here. Right. I want it, so his head's almost tilting up, according to his head. It's kind of tilting up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's do the first eye up closer to the top of his head. And then I want it with the other one down here. So it's almost like on, on a little diagonal. But it will look like he is looking up once we get that smile and the carrot on there. Okay. And then his smile, let's do a couple little dots. I'm just barely pressing my brush down. Got yeah, a couple on there. Say, yeah, let them get, to, let them see that. <laughs> I know, lots of details on this one. You guys are doing good, you're hanging in there. <laughs> How's our power? Power's okay. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. I do want to, you're going to rinse and dry after your facial details. We're going to do the carrot almost last. Um, your arms are on, your buttons are on. So let's rinse and dry that brush and then you're going to make his, the color for the line in his hat and his scarf. So I have it as a red. You can do red, you can do purple, you can do blue, whatever color you want. Right. If you're doing red, I would just suggest adding a tiny bit of yellow to it or a tiny bit of white to it because that red is usually see-through. Mm -hmm. Depends on what you've got. but And then we will make his scarf. So for the scarf, what we'll do is we're going to come right along the bottom of that top snowball. That's okay. the first line. The bottom. Yep. Okay. Using your red. I'm using my scarf red. Mark is cold. Yes, I'm it's freezing. Like, it's not that cold, guys. It's freezing down here. I'm telling you. <laughs> I want to bring the sides of the scarf down over the right and left side of that middle snowball. And then close that off with another big curve around here. I kind of went over my little button there, but that's all right. Okay. So I'm just filling that in. And then from his scarf, doesn't matter from where, we're just going to bring two of these, two lines down for kind of the ties of the scarf there. And I'm also going to fill in this little red area up here in his hat. Okay. And I'm rinsing and drying. Mark's going to get a sweatshirt. Socks. Oh, socks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> So again, so our scarf, I kind of, I did, I followed along the bottom of the head, of the top of the, the snowman. I brought each side down just a little bit and then closed that off with another big curve there. So it's, you can see that his scarf is thick. We're filling that in and then I'm from the center of the scarf, bringing two, two big thick lines down. So it's kind of the, the ends of his scarf. And then I added that um, stripe of that red up in his hat. 
and then I am rinsing and drying. And the next step will be, what will we do next? We will do, let's do our white for highlights or snow. Let's do the snow on our fence. So rinsing and drying that small brush. And then I'm just going into my white. Just grabbing white on that round brush. So you want to take a big, kind of a big glob of paint almost and put it on the fence post. And this is great for, I know Cinder loves to add glitter to it. This is a great way to add if you have like white glitter or white glitter paint or silver glitter to put that over top of the, the fence. So on top of the fence post and then right along top of the rail, it doesn't have to be straight across. It can be a little bit lumpy and because it's just however your snow falls, right? There's no perfect way. So it's across the top of our fence rail. It's across the bottom fence rail down here. Our snow collects. Let's get this guy. Let's get these little guys over here. So this is across all of our fence rails and the very top of each one of our posts. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, Cinder already added glitter. I figured she would. On the trees, but yup, adding to the fence too. That's what I said, this is the <laughs> best part. You can add glitter right to that. I knew she, she already was. did it. I know. And then if you do want to add some more white to your snowman for a highlight, you can add more white on that right side of each one of your snowballs. Okay. If you want to. Give it that Christmassy feel. <laughs> Little glitter on it. Little glitter ain't never hurt anybody. Nope. It makes um. you feel Christmas. <laughs> so all we did was we took the white we add it on top of each of our fence posts and then a top across each one of our rails on the fence. Put the snow on there. Yep, put the snow on there. And then we're going to add a little bit oh, you're of... Making cold. Oh, stop. You're making me cold. Stop. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get the blankets. <laughs> some little details in your scarf. I'm just doing some little lines with my white. With... Um, in, just within my scarf. So just little lines for some texture or make it look interesting. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're making me cold. Stop it. I can show you the goosebumps. You guys hanging in there? You guys are okay? Ooh, ooh. Again, so snow on our posts, a little bit of white in our uh, scarf. And then I'm also gonna come down on the right side of my hat <laughs> and on, down the right side of my hat, I'm also going to create a little highlight. So I'm just doing barely touching, and I want to come around the rim, the top edge of that rim of the hat that we made. You guys remember that? So white, and it's going to mix with the black because the black's not fully dry, and that's okay. okay. So we're grab, putting a little bit of white on the right side of his hat around the top edge of the rim mm -hmm. for a highlight. You guys doing all right? Yep. We got two more steps to go. Two? Yep, about that. We are going to rinse and dry when you're done with that white. Okay. Yeah, I put the socks on and maybe I should have put on a coat or something. Stop it's it. Freezing in here. It's so dramatic. But it's so cold. It's not. It's almost them, guys. They can hear me rubbing up against my shoulders. <laughs> Cut it out. Goodness. Stop it. I turn the temperature down and make it seem like we're, we're in the snow. That's what happens. You do that all the time. 
<laughs> now listen, the nest has learned our habits, so I can't do anything about it anymore. That's what it is? The nest? <laughs> they have learned our habits? You mean your habits? <laughs> your habits is to be cold, nice and cold. Not that cold. It's like 70 no, no, lower than that. <laughs> I gotta put clothes on. Uh uh, I'm freezing. Oh my goodness. Long sleeve shirt. All right, I'm rinsing and drying. Socks. This time we're gonna create our orange for our nose. Sweatpants. Stop. Orange for our nose, rinsed and dried. So once you mix that orange color, I want you to rinse and dry that brush. Get the paint off of it and get it back to a point. Okay. Get it back to that fine point. So our orange, and here is what we're gonna do. So rinsing and drying. Mm -hmm. I kind of want everybody to be almost at the same spot here for the nose. Everybody always gets tricked up on the nose. Really? Rinsed and dried. After you mix your orange color, I want you to get a good bit of orange just on the tip of your brush though. All right. Okay. We're coming down in between our eyes and our mouth. Okay, <laughs> that's, put a little dot there. That's where our carrot is gonna start. I want you to put pressure on that dot and then as you pull up and away, I want you to come up on an angle. Don't come straight out. I want you to come a little up and on an angle toward this big tree up here. Okay. You're gonna let up on your pressure. So let, let up on the pressure. Yep. So pressure first. Pressure first. And as you come up to let up on the pressure and it gives you a pointed tip. Yep. And then you can kind of go back and fill that in if you need to, if it's not quite dark enough for you. But there is your carrot. Okay. Now, if you want to switch to the tiny brush for outlining the rest of your snowman, mm -hmm. you can do that at this time. So I'm switching to our littler brush or tinier brush for detail. And you don't have to fully outline. I like to do, this is called, um, what is the correct word of it? I'm using a broken line. I don't, I don't remember the correct term over here. I don't know why it's so you're not going to use a full line, you're going to use... Right. So I'm not going to, I don't want to do a big harsh line around my snowman. I just kind of want to do some broken lines here. All right. Kind of gives you the illusion of that outline without it being a big heavy outline. Now, Kimberly says lost you. Lost me. Oh, maybe refresh. Yeah, try refresh. Sorry. I know Facebook is kind of tricky seeing, sometimes. I'm still seeing you. I'm, st I'm still having the problems that I had since we started, but. That's so crazy. I can see you on the phone. That means that you're rolling. Everything's <laughs> going good. Rolling. Yeah, everything is rolling fine. <laughs> and then if you want to add carefully, add a little bit of an outline to, again, using that little broken line with that carrot, you can add that as well kind of hard because okay. it's really uh, wet. So we added our carrot, we rinsed and dry, and we added our broken line outline for our snowman. You can add a couple of little details in black for our scarf if you want to kind of outline that or add just some detail yes. in that scarf. Go ahead. Cinder says, where are the white highlights on the snowman? So the white on the snowman is really just to on the right side of each of the snowballs. Right. It kind of gets lost in that light blue color. Right. So I was trying to add a little bit more, but it doesn't. I don't know that it really made a big difference. So don't stress about it. But your the right side of our snowball should still be lighter because we added that as we as we started painting it. Okay. So I'm just gonna add some outline to my scarf. We're in 
rinse and dry. And the very last thing we need is your initials somewhere on your painting. We definitely still want you to take those photos and send us those photos. At the okay. end of this, so I said, okay, that's why I couldn't see. <laughs> at the end of this, we will post the video, but in the event, I will, I'll actually, I'll try and, all right, dude, rascal, calm down, man. Rascal. Having a dream, man. That was rascal. He's having a bad dream. You're right there, buddy. Take it easy. Like, he said, I was, I was, I was laying there and I was looking <laughs> up at my mommy and she had all these easels and all of these paintings and I just didn't know what to do. <laughs> Too many paintings. Oh my gosh. Every so, single day. Again, at the end of this, the end of the evening, I will try to share the video. I should be able to share the video into the event. And then I will put a post up, a thank you post again with our, um, our information for tips should you choose we do really appreciate them they're not expected but they certainly are accepted and please please take pictures of your paintings and, and you send can them post, to us so we can put them in a slideshow post those photos right below that post that I put up as a thank you yes. um, it's just easy for us to grab them right from there and we will put together the slideshow in a couple of days I know I've been lagging behind a bit because I've been so busy trying to schedule everything else but uh, we will get them up there. Mm -hmm. But we are done. If anybody has questions, let us know. And thank you guys for painting with us. Yeah, Rascal has a question. He says, are you we finished done. painting? <laughs> are you gonna stop painting forever? Okay, it's a right, buddy. He says, I don't want you to leave the house. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to paint. Yeah. He jumped in, you know, everybody, he jumped into the <laughs> driver's seat of her car the other day because he refused to let her leave. I know. He's just having issues, you know. <laughs> See, he's, he knows I'm talking about him now. He's rumbling. <laughs> you talking about uh, me. Why you got to talk about me all the time? <laughs> My rascal. Yep, he's your rascal. He is a rascal. He does not like to see you go. I know. That was it for me when I seen him jump in the, in the driver's seat of the car, and he was like, "Dad, I know this is the this is the seat right here. This is the thing that takes you away from me." <laughs> Get so mad! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I wonder other people go through this mess. I don't know. The dogs I, running I mean, out the house and jumping in their car. Uh, Sitting goodness. in the past, sitting in the driver's seat, so that you can't get in there and drive away. They're like, no, this is it. I know. I figured it out. This is the thing that takes you away from me all the time. You go I out know. the door and you get in this thing and you sit there right there in the seat, and I'm not gonna let you get in it. And that's how I'm gonna keep you home. My he was so determined. That's him. Awesome. Yes, yeah, Novita says I have two dogs Do and a cat. <laughs> oh my God, two dogs. Aww. Cats are cool. Cats don't care about you. I, that, I don't want an animal that doesn't care about me. No, cats don't care. They, no, they <laughs> love, they'll love you but on their terms and on their time. They don't their got... Terms. And if you leave, they're like, good. Good. <laughs> get out. Dogs? Dogs like, no. Don't leave us. I know. Please, no. They're needy. Just like yeah, me. Yeah, the least. Rascal is the neediest <laughs> of all dogs. He's talking about you. I know. Don't listen to him. It's okay. He has to. He has to come to grips with the fact that you're going to paint, and you're going to be talking to other people. All right, and that I'm going to hug you. I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to be with you. He gets upset. He does get upset. He's like, what the hell are you? Everywhere we go, mm -hmm. he's there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he just can't understand it. Why am I here? Too much. Oh, my goodness. So we finished all of our upcoming events. We went over everything. So yeah. I think that this is going to be a coming soon event. This one? It's in one of our frames. Oh. So, but this will be a coming soon one. Okay. You're going to schedule it in the event section? That will be, you watch for August. Okay. No, watch for September, not August. 
August is full, guys. And then the next thing I'm going to put together is kits for us to do a wine bottle. Oh. So the wine bottles that I have are frosted. I will give you all the information that you need for our supply list. But if you want, I will put together kits to send you the whole thing. Right. So we will paint palm trees on our wine bottle and then it lights up. So the little lights will supply you with everything, the paints you need, the lights you need, the bottle, the brushes, the whole nine yards. Right. Um, so I think we're going to try and do this as something different. And that will come in August as well. Right, that's not different to most of the masterpieces. It's just different to the virtual painting. It's different sessions. to virtual painting because we do this all the time. We go right. glasses, bottles, yeah, you name it. Cinder so. says, "When will you guys? Will you ever do another meet and greet?" Yeah, we will. I will probably we'll post one in September. I think August is pretty full now um, between kid camp and I've scheduled as many paintings as I can mm -hmm. and we are back on the road for outdoor events right. and I have private some private zooms so I'm pretty full and for those of you who have never seen uh, us do an event go check out that out that outdoor event we did for um, for for uh, Kaylin <laughs> all right right on our page just go to cute. the events look up Kaylin's birthday and click on the video yes check out the the, the drone coming down from the sky onto our party. You'll see that again very soon because we're working on a little... A little introduction. A little intro for us. Or yes. Whatever, commercial, whatever you might want to say. But in the meantime, yeah. just check out that video because that's going to be part of what's going to be coming up in the future. We're going to change the set. We're going to make a make things look different. I don't know how much we're going to change. Well, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a map with all of the people's I areas know. where they come we need a from. Bigger map. We're gonna have a featured a artist. Uh, we don't know if we're gonna do the featured artist every week or every month. I'm doing featured artists every week. All right, so we do featured we artists so every week. We put one of you guys up, get all the paintings that we got of you, and we're yep. gonna put them up and post them for everybody Anya's to see with for us the entire tonight, week. And Anya was last week's. Right, Anya was last week's featured yeah. artist. We gotta pick a new one. Her. I know. We're uh, going to do, do a re rearranging of the set. We've got new paintings. we got new paintings that's got to go up. We want to yep. shout out the names of all of the people that come and join us all the time. Yes, Tracy, adults can paint the Pacala, the, the Pacalaca. <laughs> the Pacalaca. Yes, you can yeah. paint the Pacalaca. We're it's calling, not just for the kids. Listen, we're calling it kid camp. But adults are more than welcome to join. Absolutely. <laughs> so that fee is for the whole household. Um, we're just going to continue. I'm going to do my best to just post into the private group that we've made for you guys because um, just the very first stitch in the sand zoom that I goofed on trying to save the zoom and send the zoom to those that couldn't make it on time or whatever. Right. Didn't work out. So we're just gonna do it again. And still, I, and I'm gonna do it again because I messed up. So I promise you, if I mess up, I will. I will make it right somehow. Oh yeah. So, um, for the kids camp, we are going to post uh, technical work to do, but I'm going to post into the group instead of trying to email everybody every week. That's just gonna be that's a full time job. And I already have one of those, and <laughs> so I'm gonna just post into that. Um, private group that I've made for everybody. We want you to introduce yourself. So if you've been invited to the group already and you've paid your fee, make sure you send a picture of you, your family, the kids, so that we can all get to know one another, where you're from. Um, we Again, we want to create this little community atmosphere for you guys to be comfortable with one another. Right. We, we want to have fun with it. We want you to guys, today you guys participated or you guys posted that, you know, um, that weird thing that was like, you know, show me recreate this look using what's near you and mm -hmm. so many of you did that and it made me laugh all day today <laughs> so keep doing them you know we have fun doing that kind of stuff um if you can think of other stuff for us to do let's do it um i'm not just about getting paint to the canvas we want you to be happy with your masterpiece yes but we also want you to have a really good time and a memorable experience and have fun doing other things too yes everybody's saying thank you you're Paula, welcome uh, salma you're Christine, welcome, welcome. Jen Kaylee says thanks. Aww. Tracy Lalia says thanks. You're Cinder. welcome, guys. 
Novita, everybody saying thank you. We will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the koi painting. Right, tomorrow at 11 a.m. So, and that is on Zoom, so you'll need the Zoom link. If you want to participate with us for that and you haven't sent in your Zoom payment, send it in tonight. I will get the link out tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, and that's my last push of emails to people. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, that's right. And then, um, yes, we will do our best to record it and save it so that we can send it again. So, fingers crossed, I figured it out. Uh, we will just not be able to interact with you guys and watch you on it. We have to keep our video pinned so that when we do send it to you, right, if you, you can't just... make it, you can see us and not 40 little boxes. Right. <laughs> so, um, so, that's the plan for tomorrow. But I love the koi painting, so I'm really excited for that one. It's really nice. Yes, Nancy says thank you for the great picture. You're welcome, Nancy. Thanks for painting.